Armaduzia, and this is a story called Abby Yo-Yo by Pete Seeger based on a South African folktale. Now, this story has a little sing-along component, and it goes like this. Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo. If you want to practice again, stick around and I'll teach you the song again. If you feel ready to sing along, skip to this timestamp and you can hear all about Abby Yo-Yo. Okay, here's the song again, one more time, a little slower. This is the first part. Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo. Okay, that's the first part. And the second part is... Abby Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo. Abby Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, be Yo. It's super easy. All you're saying is the word Abby Yo-Yo over and over again. Here, I'll do it one more time, even slower, so you can make sure you've got it. Abby Yo-Yo. One more time, and this time you have to sing along with me, okay? Abby yo yo, 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 be yo yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo. Do you have it? Let's jump into the story. Once upon a time, there was a boy who loved to play the ukulele. He'd go all around town going clang, 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 just making a racket. The townspeople didn't like him. And they didn't like his father neither. You see, his father had a magic wand, and with that magic wand, he could just go zoop, zoop, and make anything disappear. But the father liked to play tricks. Someone would be taking a nice, tall drink of water, and the father would go zoop, zoop, no more cup, and someone's got a wet shirt. Someone would be hard at work, sawing away at a log, and the father would go, Zoop, zoop! No more saw. Someone would be taking a seat after a long, hard day of work, and the father would go, Zoop, zoop! No more chair. And someone's got a sore bottom. The townspeople didn't like the boy and his father. They made them live on the edge of town. You see, they ostracized them. That means they made them live away from everybody else. Now... In this town, they like to tell stories about giants. Big, tall giants the size of mountains that could pluck a person off the ground and eat them whole. Now, no one really believed these stories, but they told them anyway. Then, one morning, a blood-red sun rose over the hills, and all of the townspeople awoke to a massive thud. Everybody! Run for your lives! Abby Yo-Yo is coming! A massive, huge shadow the size of a mountain blotted out the sun. And Abby Yo-Yo started towards the village. On his way, he picked up a sheep from pasture and ate it in one bite. Then he passed by another pasture and picked up a cow and ate that in one bite. Everybody grab all your possessions and run! People were scared, children were crying, strong men fainted in the streets. The boy looked out the window and saw Abby Yo-Yo and said, Papa, what is that? The boy's dad said, that there's Abby Yo-Yo. If only I could get him to lie down, I could use my magic wand to make him disappear. Just like that, the boy had an idea. He grabbed his ukulele, his dad grabbed his magic wand, and they ran towards Abby Yo-Yo. The village people screamed, No, don't go near him, we'll eat you alive! And when they got close to Abby Yo-Yo, they could see why everyone was so afraid. He had big, long fingernails, because he never cut them. Slobbery teeth, because he never brushed them. And stinking feet, because he never washed them. Abby Yo-Yo 
raised up his giant claw. And in that mo moment, the boy began to sing a song. Abby, oh, yo, Abby, oh, yo, Abby, oh, yo, Abby, oh, yo. Now, Abby, oh, yo, was a hundred years old and had heard hundreds and hundreds of songs in his life, but he had never heard a song about himself, and he loved it. So he started to move his feet a little bit. Abby, oh, yo, Abby, oh, yo, Abby, oh, yo, Abby, oh, yo. And the boy saw Abby Yo-Yo start to dance, so he played a little faster. Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, be Yo-Yo, be Yo. At this point, Abby Yo-Yo was moving his body and dancing a dance that only a giant could dance. And Abby Yo-Yo was so overjoyed having hearing a song about himself. He started to sing too. Ab yo yo, 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 be yo yo, be yo yo, ab yo yo, be yo yo, be yo. But just like that, Ab yo yo ran out of breath, and his legs grew tired from all this dancing. You see, in his a hundred years, he had never danced so much in his life, and just like that, Ab yo yo. Out of breath and out of energy, fell to the ground with a massive thud. And just like that, the boy's father ran up to Abby Yo Yo and went, Zoop, zoop, and made him disappear. The boy and his father had done it. They had defeated Abby Yo Yo. And all of a sudden, the townspeople forgot all about all the tricks that the boy's father made and all the noise that the boy made with his ukulele, and they said, you come back here and bring your ukulele and your magic wand too, and let's sing a song. So they all got together and sang, Abby yo yo, 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 be yo yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo. Faster, Abby yo yo, 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 be yo yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo. And they all lived happily ever after. The end.